Under clear blue skies and with the open sea stretching before him, Slovenia Formula kite boarder Tony Bodišek is ready to harness the morning wind. Within minutes of hitting the water, his sleek board slices through the waves at an impressive 80 kilometers per hour. Each gust propels him forward as he hones his technique for Paris. We met Bodišek in his hometown of Copper, Slovenia, where his passion for the sport was born. Swapping his high-speed kiteboard for a bike, we explored the streets of his coastal city, where the locals will cheer him on. I know that my sport is not yet uh, a massive sport and it's uh, growing. Really, I just hope to be a good inspiration and a good image for the youth and the next generations coming up. Bodišek will be one of 40 Formula Kite riders, 20 men and 20 women competing for gold in Paris. They'll race up to four times per day during the event, with each course spanning about 10 kilometers and a target time of 11 minutes. This is going to be the first time this sport is uh, feature on a world stage like this and uh, you know being part of it that's something special right? Well it definitely is uh, whenever I'm thinking about it my heart's pounding when I uh, made it into the games at the beginning I was just yeah so excited and just for the sports to become Olympic was just for everything being stepped up to the next level. Bodyshake is laser focused on achieving Olympic glory. Each race in Paris, he says, will test his strength and his sharpness. This is the moment he's been training for, his chance to make history. Tony's rise in kite border began at a young age with his father, Raiko Bodyshek, an accomplished windsurfer as his first coach. He was already at two years skiing at three years snowboarding, at four years uh, monoski, double ski, so many different sports, it's in the game. As the day ends, Bodyshek finishes his final run. He's exhausted but satisfied as he believes Olympic goal is within reach. Pablo Gutierrez, CGTN, Copper, Slovenia.